there is a real warfare the bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that this domain is already saturated with wicked spirits a legion a legion had no place to stay they had to make do with one man we are only about eight million people on earth and these spirits were the bible says to the point that when they leave men they still try to come back to find out there is a real accommodation problem with these spirits they are searching for bodies now it's a very serious thing and these spirits are not they, they can coexist in a person there is a real warfare at a national level at an international level at a community level Paul gave us the organogram of the dark world they are not careless they are just not just random spirits moving everywhere they have their jurisdiction of function there are spirits over churches wicked spirits to attack the work of God there are spirits over cities there are spirits over communities there are spirits over nations there are spirits over territories and those spirits they multiply their wickedness based on your growth in the spirit and the kind of grace that is coming on your life it is true that's why there are people that until God sees their build up and their stamina, he cannot answer their prayer for more anointing. Every mantle that follows you, you must find out the attack that followed that mantle. If you want to be Elijah, know that you must prepare on how to deal with Jezebel because Jezebel follows Elijah. We pray for anointings and we pray for mantles, yet we do not study that those who carried it before us where, what were the systems because the methodology of the devil does not change it's a strategy that can be known from scripture if you are Samson you must create a system of protecting your hair are we together if you are Daniel you must sustain the ability to use the spirit of excellence to dumbfound the princes of Babylon so that you will be exalted and you will be made to last through the dispensation of three kings study the grace you are carrying and study not just its system of operation but how the devil responds to those anointings the response of darkness will change when you become anointed so you receive a grace and god promotes you multiplies you gives you a higher apostolic and prophetic order of grace the attacks will re-strategize themselves to suit that anointing it is the reason why many times the Bible says, uh, well, not just because of that, but I think that, um, I think it was Pastor Poju that said something here. We have to be careful with premature exposure. Just because people are yielded and they love us very much, we should not out of pity just come and say, look, I think that sometimes we are harming them. They do not have the stamina and the spiritual intelligence to manage the challenges that come with that level of grace. We must sustain a non-emotional approach in lifting people in ministry. Because sometimes you can feel, ah, this person has been too kind. You, you love me too much. And when God is dealing with them, we don't allow the training to be complete. Remember what I said about emotions yesterday. Emotions are wonderful, but they have proven to be a serious interruption to God's program. The outpouring of the spirit what will be the result Isaiah 35 from verse 1 to 5 goodness find somewhere to pray hmm. the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing the glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it the excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. Verse 3. It says, Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. 4. Say unto them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Verse 5. It says, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. When you read it, you see all of the manifestations that begin to happen. The coming move of God, according to Scripture, 
and according to like Pastor Dele would say reference from patriarchs men and women who we have followed passionately and we have vetted their integrity we are sure that these people know God and work with him I've had the privilege by the grace of God to meet a few people in their lifetime before they went to be with the Lord men and women who were at the epicenter of God's program others who knew others who were at the epicenter of God's program and I wanted to hear what they had to say about the coming move of God because almost every one of them died and said I still see something coming that even though we have done well this is not it the character of the move of God that is coming it will not be like the former revivals necessarily now there are two dimensions of God's move there is what we call the cyclical move of God are we together now the cyclical move of God meaning that as it was in the past exactly so you can study it this is one of the blessings of mentorship the eyes of experience can see and say I know this I can you can be guided but there are certain moves of God that are new the pattern may not be a pattern that has happened in time past I perceive that the move that is coming is like that for the Bible says blow the trumpet in Zion it says sound the alarm upon my holy mountain when he begins to talk about the formation of this army is the Lord himself that is leading them in front because the nature of that move no human being can use his experience to guide that move accurately it has to be the Lord himself hallelujah yeah. it is not just a move that is spiritual in context it is a move that is also economic in context it is a move that has to do with according to prophet Micah Zechariah they they talk about the mountain of the Lord's house being exalted above other mountains and that all nations will flow to it they will say to one another come let us go to the mount of the Lord are we together now yes he says he will teach us his ways so it's not going to be like other times because we have a lot of things in our civilization right now that makes that move complex one of it is the power of the media one of it is a greater level of sociological enlightenment we have a judicial system that can protect and can fight the purposes of God so the strategy the blueprint is, is a technology that God must import and give us by his wisdom but we know one thing for sure and maybe this is what I'll use to wrap up that the global harvest as far as the program of God is concerned the global harvest is a reality Matthew chapter 24 when you read the first 14 verses the Bible begins to talk about what we call the signs of the end times I don't want to go into that because of my time the Bible talks about nations rising against nations are we together kingdom against kingdom etc etc let's go to verse 14 and then the Bible says that all of these things are just the birth pains 14 24 and verse 14 read with me please it's projected ready one to read and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness stop stop please keep that scripture notice he never said the gospel shall be preached in all the earth there is a difference between the earth and the world are we together now yes the root word that is used there is still the word that is later interpreted nations not just countries systems structures what we have come to know in the body of Christ as the seven mountains that this gospel must be taken strategically not just from country to country the media has made it possible that from one point you can talk to the whole world so he's not just talking about physically traveling alone uh -uh. that we must through our alignment with the spirit we must import a technology that grants us the authority to take this gospel across these seven mountains are we together now yes 
the concept of the seven mountains it was not just an invention of men these are the mind control systems whoever sits upon that sphere of influence controls a section of God's activity remember Psalm 24 the earth its fullness the mind control systems and the inhabitants this is what Satan is fighting and all of these seven mountains thrive on this the earth the fullness the mind control system right now there are certain nations where you cannot take this teaching right now no it will not be allowed